Welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie. I wanted to talk about Instagram for building your author platform. I have a blog about this on my website, but I figured, hey, I might as well make a video as well. So if you're thinking about making an Instagram for your author platform or whatever platform, or if you already have one, but it's kind of like all over the place and you want to get structured, check out some that I'll leave in the description box below. And you can go various directions with this. Um, some people do where you have you in all of your photos with books or objects or whatever. Some people like me have a set amount of objects that are in a photo. Typically I try to take an overhead but sometimes I do straight on. So that's another thing to think about if you want over or straight. Um, people like Christine Rowland do like their legs. Like they take a picture with their legs in the photo along with a book or um, you can just tie up with like whatever seasonal stuff you have lying around. You can pick your colors based on your brand, which mine is like teal and orange and it matches my website. Some people do like out in nature or um, things that they have lying around their house. It's cohesive because the filters are the same but not so much like the same objects like I have in mind. So to create like a cohesive brand for you guys I just want you to think about your author colors or colors. <laughs> it doesn't have to be an author channel but think about your favorite things, your brand colors, and then try to incorporate them. Mine really worked out because I already love the color teal so I had a ton of teal stuff at my house and then I was like what goes with teal? What else do I have? And I went to, I think, Hobby Lobby and just got some flowers, like some orange, teal, and then this like magenta e pink color um, for when I did my teal and orange stuff. Sometimes I was incorporating in the teal flowers and then randomly I'll throw in magenta just to like mix it up. Um, but usually it's the teal and orange and I just happened to have those items, so it was nice. Some items, if you're going to do like item photos, would be like coffee mugs or teacups, candy, snacks, books, tablet. Um, I use my tablet to put pictures of books on there and then take a photo of that with other stuff for like the what I'm reading posts. You can do a typewriter, a motto or a sign, your desk. You can like wrap a blanket or a scarf or lights. You can have a candle, um, flowers or plants notebooks, pens, pencils, highlighters, if you're talking about any like revisions or notes. Um, you can do like calendars, you can do outlines, sticky notes, note cards, things that are going to tell your story. You can also include a keyboard, a laptop, a mouse, um, a tree round, which is what I have. It's a big round that I put stuff on or like show it halfway in my photos because I just love like the rustic feel. Um, you can add a watch, glasses, a camera. You can have like a mascot, like a stuffed animal, like an owl, or if you're a fantasy writer, you could like throw a dragon in there. Um, add items based on the genre you write. If it's fantasy, you go more fantastical versus contemporary, sci-fi, dystopian, like horror, oh god, thriller, like, um, you can just add that stuff in to really customize it to your brand. And then you can incorporate seasonal things as well. A lot of times people do like blocks for like they'll throw in pumpkins during fall or um, cotton balls or lights during Christmas or snowflakes. Um, spring has flowers, summer, you know, you know what I mean? Um, and just do that if you're wanting to like break up your feed because some people get tired of the same feed, especially like if you have a filter and it's like all one color and you're just like over it and so you change it like you can do that and um i absolutely love brooke passmore's feed she does like a purple filter on hers and it's perfect like she always has her monitor and her laptop and her candle and books and like all her like purple things like it's i love it make it easy on yourself and just kind of look around what you have at the house and go based off that um, try not to like spend too much but the Dollar Tree has a lot of good items too if you need anything and once you have all these ideas you can jot down like what you can post with each one I think I have um, a printout on my members page for uh, Instagram topics about what you can post about I'm really bad because I like tell y'all what you could post about and then I'm always like I have nothing to post about and I don't post for like a month <laughs> so I need to take my own advice but um, what's really great about Instagram is like 
when you're taking photos, you're just mixing up items. Like you can take a ton of photos and batch your content by just mixing up some layouts and throwing in different things, throwing in like a book, throwing in whatever. And then you have all these photos for the whole month. You can mix in some selfie pictures if you want. Oh, just kidding. I have a post for the Instagram ideas, um, not in the member page. So I'll go through those as well. But after that, um, when you do post, you'll want to think about your hashtags and things like that. But this is just for branding right now. This video, I get off topic so easy. Um, the app that I use is the preview app and it allows me to throw all of the photos I just took. I can customize them with filters and it even lets you like create a, um, a theme. So like I have a writing um, hashtag uh, theme thingy and in it are all the hashtags I want for writing so whenever I click it all the hashtags automatically pop up in the like comment or the description part of that photo and then I can um, click through and delete some and then I can go into Instagram where I post it and it travels over there and then I can add in other hashtags over there and the preview app you can like schedule posts so it'll just remind you to post them I wish it was an automatic scheduler but it works out anyways and then um, it can run your feed that you already have so you can just see your whole layout at one time with the pictures you want to add in move all of them around and it's just it's really great um, it's not like everything you'd ever need but I find it really helpful um, another idea is a Canva. Um, if you use the Canva app or PicMonkey or whatever, you can create, um, Christine Rowland also does, like she'll do a picture of herself or whatever and then she'll do one that's like a quote or even like usually they're quotes from her stories or things like that and so it's like um, just a plain background with text and so she'll alternate those and that's another way that you can do your branding. A lot of people just do quotes or do whatever or um and then if you have like other photos you're doing like say you're doing a photo challenge you can post your post and then add the photo challenge one after that so that it's still like cohesive and coherent on your feed but you're still participating um there's a lot of like workarounds <laughs> and to keeping your like brand on brand in this blog i also have how to post consistently so if that's something y'all are interested in like all of this is like already on my website but after this video, go check out my Instagram post and story ideas video and then just like keep compiling all of this to really build your author or whatever Instagram account to your brand. Let me know down below if y'all are already on brand or not, if uh, what y'all's colors are or what theme you go by. Is it objects? Is it your face? Like how do you do your feed? I would love to follow you on Instagram if you'd let me know that. Uh, name down in the comments below as well. Okay, you guys, after this one, go check out the posting stories idea, and I will see you next time.